Yo, what's up guys? Today we are gonna go over my six step process to creating short form content. If you guys want more examples than what was shown inside of the intro, I have a lot more on my Instagram page. So be sure to go ahead and give me a follow there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in to the breakdown before we hop into Premiere Pro. So for you guys to kind of understand what exactly I'm gonna be doing for creating short form content, I think it's gonna be helpful for you guys to just have the six steps that I follow each and every single time I create short form content. Starting with number one. Number one is corrections. Corrections is audio fixes, so like microphone, and then also color grading. I'll just do CG. Um, and then the last step is transform effect. So for me, I have to rotate my footage negative 90 degrees or positive 90 degrees, depending on which way I shot it. So that's what that transform is for. Step number two, basic cuts. It's essentially just cutting out all of the dead space inside of your content. Number three, are the graphics so this is going to be your visual hook screenshots and potentially b-roll or icons as well number four animating your visual hook icons b-roll screenshots whatever you need to animate and this is where we're going to also add our transition overlays so i'll just do trans overlays pause step number five step number five is going to be text so auto generative text six is going to be your music plus your sound effects so if you guys want to go ahead and screenshot my beautiful handwriting just to have this process written down somewhere on your computer go ahead but now we're going to go ahead and jump inside of premiere pro and get started editing all right so before we go ahead and get started in this editing tutorial i'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of sauce if you guys don't know this already simply just drag over this program and you'll see it kind of add like a blue highlight right here drag all of these sort of monitors inside of that little section what it's going to do is going to allow you to kind of create more space vertically just like this so you can actually see your full reel um it just makes the viewing experience a lot better and the editing experience just overall a lot better so first step we're going to go ahead and cover corrections and the way that we're going to do this is you guys can go ahead and color grade yourself I'm going to go ahead and throw on a rotation value. So I'm going to rotate it negative 90 to make it upright, scale it to 50 because I shot at 4K and we want it 1080p. And then we want to go ahead and color grade and fix the audio. And the way I go ahead and do that is I go and use my takeover presets. If you guys want to go ahead and cop them, they save me tons and tons of time. And you guys are going to go ahead and see this inside of this tutorial, how much time they actually do save me. Because if I didn't have these presets, my editing time would be through the roof. And as a creative, you don't want to be spending hours behind the screen. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to select this video. We're going to go ahead and go to source. And then we're going to go ahead and slap on our color grade. Now for me, it's as simple as a drag and drop process. And then also I'm going to go ahead and select take over audio fix that's going to go ahead and fix the audio for me i'm going to select here i'm going to change the volume to actual 10 and then we're going to go ahead and give it a listen see how it sounds all right dope so it's kind of like hitting around this yellowish area which is really great my color grade is a little bit too bright so let's go ahead and fix that real fast and i'm going to go ahead and fix that simply by going over to the exposure in the lumetri and just crank it down a tad and that already looks a lot better so now that we did our color grade audio fixes transform effects it is now time to go on step number two which is doing your basic cuts and essentially all you want to be doing for your basic cuts is i have my hand on c x and v and c is the cut tool so you can go ahead and cut all the dead spaces just like this cut and cut cut and then you could use x to just kind of use a ripple delete I went ahead and pressed X and then it immediately deletes the space and then slides the next track over to where your playhead is currently at. So that is all you need to know for basic cutting. Go through, cut out all of the dead space. Make sure make sure there's no gaps in between the video to where it's like weird, awkward silence and makes for weird pauses. So once I go ahead and complete this step, we're gonna go ahead and move on to graphics. So the third step is adding your graphics, your visual hook, your screenshots and your B-roll. Um, for us in today's tutorial, we're just going to be doing the actual visual hook. So the way I like to do it is I like to keep it to two graphic elements. So one like an icon or photo or something like that. And then also some creative text. Okay, sweet. So I go ahead and mention Instagram and because I mention it, I'm going to go ahead and add an Instagram icon. So this step really just be kind of lazy with where you place it, kind of place it roughly where you want it and sort of sizing and all that stuff right here on like the brim of my hat Look, looks pretty good. What we're going to be doing in this next step is we're going to go ahead and duplicate the actual video layer and we're going to go ahead and key out myself. Now, if you guys don't have this plugin called Keeper, honestly, highly recommend it because it makes keying out your subject so easy. But if you guys don't have that, you guys can go ahead and mask it with a pen tool in here on Premiere Pro or use After Effects Roto Brush, which that's what I would recommend. Way cleaner result inside of After Effects. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is once again, use my takeover sort of preset pack. And then I have a Keeper plugin preset sort of already 
dialed in with all the settings that I need. Sometimes I just need to tweak it a little bit. So now we have our key. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add the text as well. Five X slash WK. And what that's gonna be is five times a week because I say I post five times a week. So basically what you say in your hook, is you want to kind of represent visually. And the way I do that is essentially just, like I said, icon and text. Dope, I think that's like a pretty good size. Dope. So that's about the placement that I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it over, cut it, bring it down, and then um, bring this down as well. So now that you have all the placements of where you kind of want things to be, and again, do this throughout your entire timeline before moving on to the next step. It's honestly just the best workflow to go ahead and do. So now, because we have all this stuff kind of laid out exactly where we want it, it's a matter of just animating the icons and text. So let's go ahead and do that. What I want this five times a week to do is I just want it to slide in. And for this, you guys can keyframe it to come in and out using the transform effect. But for me, I'm gonna be saying this a lot in this tutorial, I have a preset for it so I don't have to do it each and every single time. So I have one called slide in up. That's what I want it to do. I want it to slide in up. And then I want it to slide, uh, let's do, let's have it slide out right. Sweet, that looks sick already. Um, so that's great. That text looks actually awesome. I like it a lot. Um, let's go ahead and just add like another effect to it. Let's go ahead and add a glow. So glowing text, grab it, drag it, drop it. Looks dope. We got a glow effect. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the animations for the Instagram. But before we do so, I wanna make it look like a glitch sort of effect is going on the Instagram. So I'm gonna drag and drop the effect right here. Sick, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna just duplicate it and add that glow effect as well. Glowing text, just drag it over. It'll kind of do that blur. But sometimes if you don't see the blur, um, you just need to like go crazy with the blur and you'll see it, see it start to feather out. And a quick tip, if it's kind of doing this harsh border, just go ahead and check this out and then it'll kind of feather itself out. And that honestly, to me, looks great. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that and we're gonna nest these guys together. Now we can go ahead and add our preset. Now for this one, I'm gonna actually just have it drag down. So the thing that's dope is you can actually layer these sort of presets and you drag and drop multiple at one time. So I can literally do top slide down and then a slide out right. Let's just do that for this effect. Drag and drop and let's go ahead and see where we're at. So that actually looks pretty decent. There are a couple tweaks that I would wanna make. So I feel like they kind of don't meet up properly at the, in like the sort of the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this slide down I'm gonna make it a tad bit quicker. So that way they kind of meet in the middle at this similar sort of time. And to me, that looks pretty good. Now, the next thing that I wanna go ahead and do is add an adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer is gonna add the zoom in effect. And I use a zoom in effect literally all of the time on my reels. So the reason why I go ahead and use an adjustment layer for this sort of zoom in effect. So if I went ahead and just added it to my talking head, only my talking head would zoom in. It wouldn't be like an actual sort of camera zooming in. When you add an adjustment layer, it has all of the layers below it is actually getting zoomed in on. So it kind of replicates a 3D camera. Just a quick tip for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop. And then I'm gonna go ahead and render it in and out. So here's the zoom effect. And as you guys can see, everything sort of zooms in together. That's sort of a bad example. So let's go ahead and just make it a little bit later. And let's make just the zoom a little bit longer as well. In the beginning of the videos, you kind of want to have something happening, some sort of action, some sort of zoom in going. So that's why I like to do zoom ins in the beginning. Now we're going to go ahead and let this render in and out. Now, the next step, once we go ahead and get this graphic hook and sort of all the animations put on is we're going to slap on some transitional overlays. And that's going to be super important to the overall sort of flow for the reel. There we go. So now we can actually see that everything's zooming in together and it looks freaking sick that's gas that's actually so cool so now let's go ahead and add our transitional overlays now for me I go ahead and use creative Ryan's vertical overlays and they're actually so good uh, my favorite one is I believe it's 14 yeah it's 14 it's kind of got the half tone with the actual light leak looks freaking sick and another thing to keep in mind when you're adding these overlays is you want to add them above your adjustment layers so that way you're not zooming in on transitional overlays. It just looks weird. So I'm gonna go ahead, add this screen. So that way you can kind of see through it. And then 
we're gonna go ahead and scale to 50 because this is a 4k file shout out creative ryan because these are actually gas so the transitions actually right there so i'm gonna go ahead and trim this back and then we're gonna go ahead and add a sound effect to it so the way we do it is i'm gonna actually use my free sound effects kit if you guys don't have this already it's literally free my top four favorite sound effects all right so dope. let's go ahead and add the takeover click this is what i use for all of my uh transition sounds it kind of just resonates pretty well with the actual film burn overlay now we have it placed in the right spot let's go ahead and select our overlay holding shift so they're both selected at the same time and then right click and then we're going to link these two together so that way we can just copy and paste them moving forward in the edit so i'm going to go ahead and do that right here making sure that the flash is going on right at the cut and then let's just go ahead and add another one right here because why not now if you guys can see i made a little bit of a mistake right here the audio is sort of like just not placed together properly which is fine tutorial sake but you'd want to probably just cut that out which let's actually just do that there we go simple as that c cut x for ripple delete and then uh, we're good to go so now we are on to the actual pretty dope part of the edit which is adding your auto generated text which if you guys have been around short form content editing you guys already know what this is but if you haven't been using this tool then your mind's gonna be blown and you're gonna be freaking hyped to use this feature want to go ahead and do is you want to do like in and out to where your actual video is and then you want to go over here to text and then go to transcript retranscribe or transcribe um i like to do like the gen generate generic text script or something like that i'm gonna go ahead and just retranscribe and then transcribe into out i don't play with any of these settings transcribe it'll go ahead and transcribe everything that you just said and then you want to go ahead and hit this button create captions style you don't have to play with any of this yet because we'll fix it later um i like to the sweet spots for a maximum length and characters about is about 10 to 13 and then drag this all the way down and then lines single gap frames you don't want any gap frames so create that as zero and then create captions you'll see this caption layer now you want to go ahead and select all of these guys go to essential graphics center them and then i place them at value 266 or this sort of area in the video um, your value might be different depending on what footage you're actually using and now we're going to go ahead with everything selected over here still just change the fonts i use akira expanded so i'm literally dropping all of the sauce on how i edit i go to shadow i just crank this up to about three quarters to where it's a super feathered look and then yeah that looks pretty decent to me you guys can play with the size a little bit um, i like to keep mine small because minimal honestly just looks great to me and then uh yeah so that's everything you really need to know about doing text now now the next step i take for text is i actually just delete the text when there's actual like sort of stuff on screen that i don't really need captions for like maybe like i've been posting and then five i'm just going to delete the five times on instagram part because i let the graphics do the work and now something you want to keep in mind is when you do make cuts you want the text cutting at the same exact point that the video is cutting because if not it's going to just a little it's just going to look a little funky so let's go ahead and just check that this one's a little bit off so we'll just go ahead and maintain that i call this grooming your text honestly just made that up on the spot it sounds sick so i'm just rock with it so dope now you have all of your text in the right spot let's go ahead and watch a quick clip and sweet so most people would just leave it just like this but you're not just most people you're watching a chris Bustad editing tutorial what you're going to want to go ahead and do is select it upgrade to caption to graphic so over here graphics and titles upgrade caption to graphic it's going to go ahead and make it a graphic for you now you want to go ahead and full screen your timeline if needed for me i do need to so it's literally just like the uh I squiggle key on top left of your keyboard and we want to add the text under your adjustment layers and your overlays. So we're gonna go ahead, just go to the track below, right click over here, add track, and then add to, because I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of extra sauce and what I do. And then you just literally drag this down, make sure the value says 0000, making sure you didn't shift any frames. Now duplicate this as well, holding, um, 
option and then just drag and dropping it. Go ahead, select the top one and guess what? We're gonna add a glow. So back to the takeover preset pack, add the glowing text low effect and you got the glowing text. So that is how I get my text to look the way it actually looks. Now, if you're still watching this video, you're actually a complete G because you are gonna learn how to just add music sound effects. What I do is I just go on YouTube, check out like trending Instagram real audios, download the audio that actually sounds good. I went ahead and downloaded, let's go ahead and just use Doja Cat Streets. Um, RIP Doja Cat, not playing. She's not dead, she just made very, strange choices when the hook is done that's where i place the beat drop so as soon as the clip finishes of the hook that's where i place the beat drop so let's go ahead and find that beat drop real quick okay so it's already there okay so the beat drops actually um right here right there so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the clip at the beat drop and then where's the end of the hook the results results are actually crazy so as soon as i say after I say crazy is where I want the beat to hit. So right here, this cut, the hook is, is done at this cut. So I go ahead and place the bass right there. This is where it drops. And then you just drag it out to the beginning. Now with the audio track selected, go over to your effects, essential sound, go to music, and then just, you know, change it to like negative 30, whatever sounds good. And my general rule of thumb is have your audio about halfway from where your main talking audio is. So half of that is about this area. So let's go ahead and see if it actually is. So just remember this area. Yeah, it's like literally right on the money. Keep it about halfway of what your talking audio actually is. Now, the next step is my iconic sort of just riser sort of sound effect that I place. And this is actually in the free sound effects pack. Um, I like to use the riser bell. or the riser metallic, which this one's very popular. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this one. So I'm gonna add this and same thing where your bass hits or your hook finishes, that's where you wanna go ahead and place the riser. So when I say actually crazy is where like I want the exact like ending of the riser to be. So get as close to that cut, about right there. And then I like to add sort of sound effects label it sound effects in the essential sound and then add a little bit of reverb so like five and then maybe just bring it down negative two decibels and then we'll listen to it that's sick that actually sounds perfect so sick you guys have actually completed the six steps to creating dope short from content this is how i edit all of my pieces of short from content so please steal my workflow learn from it and master it again if you guys want to go ahead and cop my presets it saved me so much time as you guys can see inside of this video and to me it's genuinely a no-brainer and i promise it'll be well worth your money anyways guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace